Next news is out of Berlin. Do you have the photo up, Armin? Yes, I do. This photo of ex-Muslims is sparking outrage around the world. Do you want to talk about it or do you want me to? No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> Armin, Harris Sultan, uh, Mimsy and Vidu Vidiz, they, they're ex-Muslim activists uh, who wound up in the center of controversy after this image of the four of them standing on the Berlin Holocaust Memorial went viral. Um, you guys, I w I, if you don't follow Armin on Facebook or Twitter, you need to, Harris Sultan as well. Um, but these the, the, the people were so angry. Uh, at looking at this photo, and it was it was such an interesting social uh, kind of experiment, really, where you would see people just initially get so mad at these four people for standing uh, on the memorial um, because initially their gut reaction said this is wrong, this is disrespectful, uh, this is abusive. So they started abusing people because they thought that this memorial, these these blocks of cement were being disrespected. Um, and and so it, it was very fascinating to watch and see. But ultimately, uh, you know, after everyone explained what happened, uh, everyone saw that Harris was saying, look, like we took pictures everywhere. <laughs> we were in Berlin together. It was awesome. Um, my stance on it was this, the, the Berlin Memorial, Holocaust Memorial, it, those, those, blocks of cement they're standing on actually weren't meant by the designer. And, and Ellie Rizvi pointed this out. They weren't meant by the designer to be um, graves hmm. or, or represent anything of that nature. Uh, it's just how it was. The memorial itself is a piece of art. And the image of these four people is a piece of art. So no matter how it is you want to look at it and view it, uh, I, I... But how is it? Can, you, to... can, can somebody explain to me why is this? Okay, so we took this picture. It's on a Holocaust memorial. And people mm -hmm. saying it's disrespectful, all right? And like, well, it wasn't meant to be disrespectful. Well, people say, well, it is. We're like, well, why? And nobody has even meant to, been able to tell me why. It and that's, that's the thing. is they, they, They're refusing to challenge themselves. They say this is a memorial. That's for the victims. You standing on it is disrespectful. And they refuse to think anything past that. Yeah, and they say, well, we, we it is disrespectful because we say it is. And we're like, okay, well, let's play by that rule then. Uh, but, but I'm going to do, do the same thing. I'm saying it's not disrespectful because I'm saying it's not. And you know what? I should have more of a say because I posted the picture. Right. So right. if it's my opinion against yours, like why, why do I have to see it from your perspective when you're not even going to try to see it from my perspective? Right. I, it, it was, we took it, we posted it. It wasn't meant to be disrespectful. You think it is? I disagree. Let's move like, okay, now what? <laughs> right. Um, right. But, uh, you know, but, but now, now, okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit more controversial. Now I wish it was disrespectful towards the people that are finding it disrespectful, not to the ho victims. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, honestly, does anybody think that any of us here are actually against, the, you know, against Holocaust victims? Like, is that what you're suggesting? Because if that's what you're suggesting, then you're, you're fucking, I don't know, you're 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 being you're being really you know you're being on purpose you're being disingenuous right you know that we're you know that we're all on the same side of the you know on with our position regarding the Holocaust isn't that the only thing that matters here? Well, but here's I, what was pathetic. Right. right. What was really pathetic, and I'm not sure how much of your your own uh, comments he read or Harris Sultan how many uh, comments he read either, but people were actually trying to suggest to mm. you four that uh, this actually meant that you were lying about being ex-Muslims, that you are Muslims who still hate Jews. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Many people actually tried to suggest that. Okay, well, I mean, then just put those opinions out there. Like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm going to be like, well, <laughs> I'm going to say, I, I, my response is going to be like, well, no, you're wrong. Um, and they're going to be like, well, no, we're, we're, we're right. You're wrong. You're lying. So, and there's no, you can't move forward with that. But, but honestly, I'm going, from now on, I'm going to, every single Holocaust Memorial I see, I'm going to make sure I take a picture with it. I'm going to post it. Okay. Because honestly, w when it comes to people drawing red lines that say you can't cross this, I look at their lines and my, I have, I, the only lines I accept is lines that avoid harm. And avoid like reduces harm and suffering, right? And I look at lines, and people are like, oh, you, you drew a line for me. You drew a red line for me, and you're like saying I'm not supposed to cross it. Tell me why. 
Tell me why I'm not supposed to cross this line. And if you explain to me, or or maybe some more often you don't, but if you do not, if you cannot show me a harm, then I need to cross that red line just because you drew it. Just because you drew a red line and you told me you can't, I cannot cross it, and you haven't identified a harm that this red line is, uh, you know, helping us avoid, then I need to make your red line become useless and backfire by crossing it and inviting as many people as possible to cross it as well. Another point I want to mention is that, you know, no, I know a lot of these people that um, have attacked us for posting this picture. And you know, the interesting thing is that, you know, this whole re remembering the Holocaust and everything, you, you, know what, you know what's the point of remembering the Holocaust, Ali? What's that? The point of it is to for us to fight against anything similar to it happening again. And you know what Absolutely. me and you know what me and you have been doing and what these people haven't been doing, Ali? We have been talking constantly about the concentration camps in China. Okay? Yes. And I know I understand that it hasn't gone nearly as far as what what the Holocaust was. During uh, with in, during Nazi Germany, but it but that's how it started in Nazi Germany. They it this is the closest we've ever been to having concentration camps. I mean, we have now we have concentration camps again for the, you know for the first time after a very very long time, right? And right. we have tried you know around one million Muslims in China right now are being held for the crime of being Muslim, right? In, in, in China, and we have been trying to f fight against that. Very, I mean, we are very small, and we can't do much, but we have been trying to do with whatever we have, right? And right. so, and, and that's the point of remembering things like the Holocaust, so that when you see anything, even, even a fraction of what happened in Holocaust, when you see it starting again, you were like, yeah, we said never again, so never again, please stop, you know, please, more attention bring more attention to this but these people know these people are offense junkies they don't care about victims okay they're just looking for ways to get offended and they, they need to just get their dose right they're addicted to getting offended it, Absolutely. It, it's not about reducing harm it's not about protecting anybody it's about feeling that you're relevant by just getting angry at something that's all it's about it's, it seemed very much like a like a race to offense. So, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Shopam is in the live chat. Um, oh, yeah. Jack is saying, it, is it disrespectful to sit on a bench that is a, that's in the memory of a dead person? Isn't that uh, by, the, by complainers' logic worse? Actually, I was thinking, Jack... That I'm after this, after what happened here, I was thinking of going out and making a um, swing set in a park and say that this is a, like put a small sign somewhere saying this is a Holocaust memorial. And then as soon as somebody gets in the swing set, I'm going to jump out of the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be like, no, you're being a fan. Yeah, anyways. Harris Sultan <laughs> is saying, by that logic, we shouldn't even criticize religions because it's disrespectful. Yes, exactly. And you know what? If this is disrespectful, then and it's not harming anybody, then I guess we should do it more often. Okay? I really think we should do this more often. Uh, Hank is saying, good, keep it up. Uh, D is saying looks like a good album cover. Um, yeah, I think this was. Um, I you know look, yeah this is actually I, I love this picture. I'm gonna I might even change it to my cover. Um, you should. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful picture. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.